five star coaches. They're like the tits of the FM world. Fantastic to look at, but we don't really know how to get them. And once we do, we don't exactly know what to do with them. Hello and welcome back to my FM Live. In this video, we'll be talking about coaches and what they do for your club, your players, and the players' development. Now, the majority of your players' development is done on the training pitch, and the players' ability to reach their potential will come down to four deciding factors. Training facilities, training plan, playing time, and coaching staff. Now, we'll cover the first three in a different video, but today we're talking about five-star coaches. So within your training setup, you have nine different training categories that have different coaching attributes that contribute in having a five-star coach. However, there are three main attributes that stay true for every coaching category. Determination, level of discipline, and motivation. All these mental attributes go hand in hand and massively affect how well your player trains. A determined coach will drive himself and your players to greater heights. He will look to achieve coaching badges along the way, always looking to better himself and all around him. Level of discipline will determine how hard and fast he will train your players, affecting the speed in which your players learn new tactics, positions, or increase their attributes as the years go on. However, a determined coach with a high level of discipline still needs to motivate your players to better themselves, so motivation plays a massive part. Technical attributes also play a part in your coaching star rating, however, they differ from category to category. So let's have a look at an example. Okay, using the drop down menu on any coaching staff, you can find out what key technical attributes are needed for different coaching categories. So let's take Phil Cannon and uh, defensive coaching for an example. They need to be good at defensive coaching, you know, shit, but there's a second attribute that contributes to this coach's star rating, and in this case, it's tactical coaching. And also on different coaching categories, there are different attributes that correspond to his star rating. So if, if we have a look at, uh, say, shooting, for example, um, so that's attacking and technical. Okay, so after you've analyzed your team, analyze your staffing. Uh, once you know what categories you need to strengthen, uh, you can come over to the staff category and we'll just do a staff search. So we know automatically you're going to have determination, level of discipline and motivating on. And then after that, you narrow it down to the different coaching categories. So we know defending, uh, we're going to need defending and tactical. So we'll narrow that down. You can leave this at 15. It's a bit high and you might not get any coaches. Uh, if you do, just drop this down a couple of points and then you'll see a fair few coaches start to come up. Okay, so once you narrow it down, we know we want a defensive coach who's also good at tactical. Uh, so we can filter by defense and... Um, Basically, you're going to have a fair few coaches if you don't if you don't set the coach filter. But I don't because a lot of times you have a guy that it's preferred job to be an assistant manager or a goalkeeper coach, but can actually be a coach as well. Uh, so if I take this guy from Benfica for example, um, he'll actually sign for us for a coach. I've just had a look. So approach to sign, he'll come as a coach. So you can get him, and he's pretty good as a defensive coach. So I don't kind of set those boundaries uh, to have just that normal coach. I'll leave it open. I'll try to get anyone in. So as you can see here, for or coach on defend uh, he's pretty decent his mentals probably aren't over the 15 mark which i normally like but his tactical and his uh, defending coach uh, coaching attributes are at 17 and 16 which is pretty decent now warning now there's not too many five-star coaches out there just like there's not too many five-star players uh, but we want to try to get the best coaches we can possible so each star, each half star can turn that wonder kid that region that's come through into the superstar that you're looking for Okay, so the formula that I use is, is not my own. I did take it from another website and I will leave a link in the description below. Um, I've also got an app on my phone. It's I've got an Android phone and I've got an app on there. You can just calculate and you just put in the attributes of the coach itself and I'll bring it up what he is. Is a four star, is a five star, is a four and a half, um, which is a good easy way to do it. You can kind of guess uh, when you've been playing for so long, um, this kind of these kind of attributes, how good he's gonna be. This guy, I'm guessing four and a defense coach will probably be about a four star okay guys and that's how I go about finding the best coaches um, what I will do is put a couple of good coaches uh, that I know of in the description below uh, and if guys if you've got a good one share it around put in the comments below uh, a good coach that you found on your travels I mean every country is a little bit different depending on the leagues you've got loaded there's going to be a fair few different names thrown at you so if you found a good coach a good four and a half five star coach put in the comments below so everyone can everyone can have a look um, and just yeah just help out everyone wouldn't you know 
it's not a multiplayer game. We're not, you know, keeping these secrets to ourselves to to win the game. We're playing against the computer. So just share with everyone. Let everyone be good at it. Let everyone enjoy the game uh, for what it is. All right, guys, I'll leave it there. And if uh, this video has helped you out in any way, please give us a like on the video. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. There's a lot more tips and tricks and guides coming up for Football Manager 2017. Um, yeah. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Well done, mate, mate.